Well, it seems like Claude at the moment has taken a huge hit when it comes to their pricing models and usage. So before we check the pricing, I'll just head over to Reddit and you can see in the Claude AI Reddit community itself, there's a lot of hate regarding Claude at the moment. So if you can see over here, people are saying, saying goodbye to Claude or I'm done. I got 10 messages before I got cut off. And then conspiracy theory, Claude's new pricing is a trap before GPT-5 drops. So basically, first of all, Claude launched their new plan, which is the max one. If you go over here, you can see this max plan. But the problem with this is people were expecting it to have more usage compared to the pro one, which is obvious. But it seems like ever since the max plan has come up, Claude has significantly reduced the usage limit of pro without really informing their users. So all the users who were a paid member of the pro version of Claude are really suffering and it kind of feels scammy or that they were cheated on this because they were already paid users, paid loyal users and now all of a sudden they are hitting the usage limit on Pro very quickly with just a few chats ever since the Max version has rolled up. And the Max was supposed to give way more usage than Pro, basically unlimited Claude 3.7 Sonnet access with a 200k context window but apparently it just says here that it it's, it's going to give you 5 to 20x more usage than Pro whereas at the moment the usage of pro itself has reduced by so much and having to pay hundred dollars monthly for the max plan and get such less usage is really not a good idea so if i go over here you can see people are saying i hate to say this but having spent so much time and money with claude sonnet and it becoming a part of my life for a year or a daily basis for hours a day i'm canceling my subscriptions with anthropic i've spent a lot of money with anthropic but i feel no love from them as a company the rate limiting bad buggy ui and ridiculous and ridiculously expensive api is untenable now they're basically robbing customers and as we now have gemini 2.5 and deep seek easily competing with cloud 3.7 i see no point in burning cash with anthropic anymore so gemini 2.5 ever since it has come out it's obviously been one hell of a model because they provide 1 million tokens which is way higher than any other model out there obviously chat gpt has a free plan but Gemini 2.5 is obviously way more advanced than ChatGPT's free plan and using the Gemini 2.5 feels like you are pretty much working with the free plan itself because the context window is so huge. Basically 1 million tokens is a lot, pretty much doesn't end. And when you have something like Gemini 2.5 almost performing as good as Claude 3.7, then why are you going to use Claude when Claude is hitting their usage limits? so soon and charging people way more so if i go over here you can see people are saying i i like claude but now i'm done ever since they introduced new plans my chat have gotten shorter and shorter today was the last straw so anthropic if you're out here and you read this i just cancelled my subscription similarly over here if i actually scroll down there is a nice analogy to this so here someone says i'm angry that i paid for the entire year when they offered the discount and now stuck with a lemon it's like if I paid for 2 TB on Dropbox but 2 months later they said sorry but it's actually 1 TB and you need to pay more for 2 TB. So it's like people were shown a discount for the best model and they all paid for it for the entire year. And then over here it says it's even worse you paid for a lot of storage and then 2 months later you see a new tier being sold with a whole lot of storage and then suddenly you run out of space. So basically people who have taken pro plans at a, at a discount, they paid for so much, they paid for the entire year getting a discount. But now it suddenly seems like there's a new pricing model which has come up that has more storage or more context window length. But ever since this has come out, the old pro plan that you had paid for, its storage or its context window has drastically reduced. So the entire money you paid for that year starts to become invaluable, which is pretty much anthropic robbing their customers, which is totally an incorrect thing to do. And of course, I have to say this, that Cloud 3.7 for me, I think it's the best at coding or software engineering at general. I also had a lot of fun using it, but these issues can cause anybody to move out of it. And it's sad that a model so good has suddenly put these pricing and usage limits, focusing on a small part of their customers, mostly the ones who are heavy users and are ready to pay a lot, causing the other users to not benefit from this and mostly robbing them out of what they were supposed to get in the first place itself. So of course there's DeepSeek, there's Gemini as well, which are pretty good at coding too. Gemini 2.5 at the moment is one of the best. I still think Claude 3.7 is better than Gemini 2.5 when it comes to coding. But with these limitations, I think it's best to shift to Gemini 2.5 and see what you can do from there. 
and Gemini 2.5 because it has a very crazy context window length. You can literally give it a huge context of your code or a huge context of your message and it can also spit out or output a long message based on your use case. Like there are, there have been times where Gemini 2.5 has given me 1.5k or 2000 lines of code at once because it can retain context length at such a huge scale. But there's also the fact that I don't know for how long Gemini is going to allow this huge context window for free because as with everything, just like how we saw with Claude, Gemini or Google is also going to face this issue where their servers or GPUs are going to start to burn out and they will also have to start reducing their context lengths. But as long as it's available, we should all jump on the train and use it as much as possible. So yeah, if you go to other Reddit threads over here, seems like people are saying I canceled my subscription today. Getting cut off for 3.5 hours just to pressurize me to upgrade is not ethical, much less a good UX. It sucks as I really like using Claude. And here also they're saying I canceled. Tired of this not working. Yesterday all day could not copy paste, could not add files. It was like frozen all day. And now they cut the limits on code lines to 150 lines in Europe at least. Just try to push you to buy the max, which is same like basically the pro couple months ago. So that's very, that's very unfair because people paid for pro plan expecting these higher usage limits. But now suddenly just to push them to the max plan, you are reducing existing plan features just so they could generate higher revenue for you guys. I think that's pretty wrong. And when it comes to the frozen all day part and all, I think that's just a UI glitch, which will soon get fixed. But the pricing part really needs to be worked upon because this is pretty unethical at this point. People are also suggesting to use Gemini 2.5 Pro. 1 million free context is available. If I scroll down, themes here also people are saying I'm canceling it from this month. I've been paying it for the last 7 months. Sometimes the UI bugs reaches a point where the whole browser starts lagging and becomes unresponsive. All right. So if you're wondering what 200k context window means, I actually have a very nice explanation over here that I got from ChatGPT. So when people say context window of context window of 200k in AI models, they're talking about how much information or tokens the model can see at once during a single interaction. So context window is the amount of text or tokens the AI can consider at one time while processing your prompt and generating a response. So the amount of text in your sentence or in the chat message that you're typing, that is the context window or the number of tokens. So for rough scale, one token is four characters of English text. 200 tokens is about 150,000 words or 300 to 400 pages of text. That is a lot. And imagine Gemini giving 1 million tokens. Imagine how much that's going to be. It's crazy. So with a large context window like 200k, it can keep track of much more. For example, whole books, long documents, detailed coding projects, and, and long running chats without forgetting context. So if we go over here, and let's say I check the pro plan. So over here, they have put some FAQs where it says, does Claude Pro plan have any usage limits? Yes, the Claude Pro offers at least 5x the usage compared to a free service, which is not much at all because the free service itself, when I was using it, I conversed with it for around 10 to 15 chat messages. And then it just put a limit on my chat window saying that you can't use it for a certain time limit and 5x more than the free service while I'm paying $20, I guess it was $20, right? The pro plan. Uh, let's just check that out. So pricing, so not $20, but $17 per month with annual subscription count, $20 build upfront and $20 if built monthly. All right, so pretty much $20 if you take it on a monthly basis. So for $20, if I'm just getting 5X the amount of usage limit as with respect to the free one, it is not good at all. Trust me, it's not good. So it's sad that Claude being such a great model, at least in terms of software engineering, is putting us through something like this. I think even if they have these usage limits, they need to rectify their plan for the pro users as it used to be before by increasing their usage limits and their context window lengths because apparently for a lot of users it has reduced by quite a bit from what they had promised initially so yeah this is just something you guys should keep in mind make sure to also go through DeepSeek v3 or chat gpt pro models or gemini 2.5 and make your decision accordingly because if you use cloud apis like this or or cloud in its current form it can actually burn a lot of your money or in the sense that you won't get the output you expected for the amount you have paid so yeah be really cautious and careful about this